What's up insiders? You are seeing me for a second time this week and what does that mean? It means that I have been put to the test. I am putting together a couple of different segments for you on the advertiser friendly content guidelines. Why? Because of the fact that we want your experience of the video level monetization guidelines that the ad friendly guidelines represents to be like an open book rather than a black box. So we want to take our time explaining these things to you, highlighting the resources and throwing a couple of insights out there as well as ever as hearing your feedback about what we can communicate more succinctly. Now, first thing to call out is that these category names are broad. They're not meant to be specific. They're not meant to be a message in and of themselves that, for example, hateful and derogatory content is something that we welcome. But there is, of course, a spectrum, something that discusses how hateful something is, is very, very different in monetization terms from something that is uploaded with the potential to offend. Let's take a look at a couple of different screen grabs from the ad-friendly gu content guidelines themselves. As ever, you'll find a link to this section within the description below. You'll see that there's a broad explanation of what we mean by hateful and derogatory content. That's simple and to the point. So let's get to the meat of it. Beyond that first paragraph, what you're gonna find is a drop down. If you click on that, you're gonna see your guide to self-certification. So it's gonna give you three separate sections which correlate to firstly, full monetization, secondly, limited monetization, and thirdly, no monetization. So the first is going to talk you through content referencing protected groups or criticizing an individual's opinions or actions in a non-hurtful manner. Now you can see some examples there, but the best guide we can give you is something that's presented in a context that really highlights how hateful something might be. So for example, a news report or a documentary on a hateful incident is something that fits into this section. Now, the second component of this is taking it to the next level. This is something which may not have been uploaded with the in intent to offend, but may have that potential. Content that may be offensive to individuals or groups, but is used for education, news, or in a documentary. So examples of this are political discourse, where somebody may use offensive language in terms of a political debate, educational content where you might hear uncensored racial slurs, but they are uncensored so as to educate the audience about the history of the word. Or you may have some content containing raw footage of someone conducting any of the acts you see listed here below, which might include something like a malicious personal attack on someone. And then finally, you have the final category, which is content where we just will not tolerate ads, and we ask you to proactively disable ads yourself. And that will apply to the following. Hate or harassment toward individuals or groups. So we don't want to spend too much time digging into these really hateful scenarios. We know they are a reality. Uh, we do face some challenges on the platform in these areas where people are uploading content with an intent to be offensive, but it's important to note that this stuff is just not suitable for ads and self-certification gives you that heads up to disable it if you feel you fall into that category. So that is this week's segment on the ad-friendly guidelines. Thank you so much for watching and engaging. We really appreciate it. And make sure you give us any feedback that you have in the comments below. As ever, we read through every single one of these comments and we've gotten lots of ideas about where we can better our communications around these policies. So that's it from me. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you Tuesday for the next newsflash.